What's good, YouTube? LeVar here, and I'm back with another 2K24 Tips and Tricks video. It's been a little while since the last time I did something like this, but I wanted to. I felt like helping y'all brothers out. A lot of y'all been asking me questions in my comments for the last few months for how to do this, how to do that, what I do with this, what I do with that. So I'm just going to start dropping some tips and tricks some more again. I know it's been a while, but I'm going to come back with these videos again. These were really. Really, really helpful for y'all from what I could tell in 2K23. So I want to keep keep it going. You feel me? I want to keep it going for this year. Keep giving y'all the knowledge I got. You know what I'm saying? As the big man in the community, because it's not a lot of big men out here that's putting on for us. But I'm gonna keep putting on for us. You feel me? Uh, I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm not gonna waste none of y'all time for real. But before I get into this, I do stream. I'm gonna try to stream every day on Twitch. Every day. I'm gonna try to stream every day. I haven't been every day with it, but I'm gonna try to get consistent. So I'm gonna try to do it every day. I'm definitely gonna do it today after you see this video today. You know what I'm saying? Name Twitch name is the same name as my YouTube name, Lavar. And make sure you go follow the Twitch, turn on the notes on so you know when I go live, you can watch me put these tips to use. You know what I'm saying? Put my builds to use. Let me show you how to how to be a real big man out here, you feel me? But um and also make sure you just hit that sub button, hit that like button, leave a comment for your boy, you feel me? But for tip number one. On how to be a better center that's what you're here for we're gonna learn how to be a better center in five tips and the first tip is gonna be gambling with jump contests now when I say j gambling with jump contests this is what I mean right here is a perfect example right here you feel me more defense you know what I'm saying I'm helping out on the screen drop it down this dude think he got an open shot and I'll jump for it. you know what I'm saying this is very hard okay this is not easy all right I don't do this all the time. I take the chance when I feel like I got a high chance of succeeding. So what I'm doing here is basically you got to really think. You got to really try to look at it from an opponent's perspective. Like this dude caught the ball when I was right there. You think that's enough space for you to shoot? Of course you're going to think that. He thought he had enough space to shoot. He did. If I didn't jump, it would have been green. But I jumped. I took that chance. I was like, okay, he's definitely going to shoot this shot. You know what I'm saying? So really it's really just gambling so i took that gamble and it worked and i do this a lot on stream i do this a lot off stream i do it a lot no matter what i'm playing where i'm at i do it in the park i, I could do it in the stage i do it in the program i do it in, in the rec as you can see i do it in theater this is very very hard to do and i don't recommend this to everybody if you're bad at judgment judgment you're bad at trying to read your opponent's mind if you're not that good at that do not do this okay this is not simple it is simple, you know what I'm saying? But in, in, in the mental capacity, it's not simple is what I mean. As far as skill, it's not really a skill thing. It's more of a mental thing. I've been playing 2K for a long time. This is this is crazy. I just knew to jump right here. So I, I don't know why. Something just told me, you know what I'm saying? And because we tall and we centers and we got high block, and not only that, but we got high wingspan, most times we're going to get that block. Ooh, look about player jumping up for that block. Most times you're gonna get that block. Now, another reason why I say it's a gamble is because sometimes 2K wanna be how 2K always wanna be, which is a little weird, but 2K will call you for a shooting foul. Somehow, some way, some sometimes when you jump into the jump shooter to try to contest their shot. And I don't understand why they call foul, because how else am I supposed to contest the shot if I don't jump? I have to jump to contest their jump shot, you feel me? To get a good contest. You know what I'm saying? If you don't jump, hand down man now. You ain't got a hand in your face in this game. It's over. It's wide open. It's green. You feel me? But I don't understand that part. You know what I'm saying? It's like, y'all call it foul, but what else am I supposed to do? I got to jump. You know what I'm saying? You got to jump to contest. So, again, it's really just a gamble. You really just got to understand when somebody might shoot a shot. Now, that one right there, I don't know what told me. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what in my mind told me. Oh, this was for sure, for sure, gonna be a shot. As soon as this dude caught the ball, the game just started. You know what I'm saying? He came in, he ran out for the three. I'm like, nah, he's shooting that. Jump, blocked it easy. You know what I'm saying? It's simple. It's really simple. I'm not gonna waste too much time on this one tip because it's not too much to really dive, deep dive into. But basically, use this tip at your own discretion. Okay? Do not always do it. Unless you feel confident in yourself. I be confident in myself, so I be doing it, you feel me? But tip number two, use your height to your advantage. Us centers are tall. Hit these little boys with a post fade. Hey, seek the mismatch, bro. Real talk, if you do not do post fades, 
start doing it because post phase are too easy in this game bro it's too easy and when you definitely have a smaller defender you got somebody on you who who isn't uh like good at getting a hand in your face the post fade is right there and it's wide open every time look at that it's open every time he's just, i'm too tall if he if they don't jump like you see how he thought he could just have his hands up he thought i was going to do a a drop step or something so he had his hands up see Look at him. He just standing there with his hand. That's not that's not good defense. You gotta jump. As soon as you see me uh, take that spin out the post, I'm going for that fade. I'm going for that post fade. And it's gonna be green every time. You can't stand there with your hands up like that. So this is also a tip for defense too. You see somebody going for a post fade, you have to jump and you have to time it right. Alright. You gotta jump for the defense and you gotta time it right. And if you're on offense, you see somebody who they they they, they feeling for the for the hands up defense. Or do you know they're not gonna jump? Shoot that, shoot that post fade. You can shoot it from the midi, you can shoot it from the close range. Hey, if it's if they know if they got bad defense, hey, it's green. You feel me? Let me show you one more clip. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people be tall centers and they don't be one, they don't be one to take initiative like this. this. That's another thing. A lot of centers don't be one to create shots for themselves like this. You can do this. This is something you can do. Now this one was a little tough. That was a 44% cover. You feel me? I, I'm gonna be honest. That one, that one. Let me see. Did he jump on that play? Did, did the defender jump on that play? Let me check real quick. So one of them did, but like I said, he's short. So the dude with the with the white headband on, he jumped. The other ones didn't. So I wasn't being defended by the red head and the little bulky of a dude on the left right there. I was only defended by the guy with the headband. But even so, that's not good enough defense. Yes, it was a 44% cover. Yes, I could have missed it. Yes, I greened it because I just know my post fade timing. You feel me? I just know the timing. But also, it won't be a heavy contested. If at, at maximum, when something like this happened with a mismatch and they jump at maximum, it should be a yellow contest, not a red. Because he's not that tall and his arm's not that long. You see, I this is still basically an open shot if you ask me. That's why I just shot the bitch and I didn't pass out. That still is an open shot to me. That's why I shot it. You know what I'm saying? Use your height to your advantage. Period. Point blank. You're tall. You do a post fade, especially if you got the mismatch. It's gonna be green every time. They can't get no contest. Just make sure you know your post fade. If you want me to, if you want me to let y'all know my post fade animations or any of my animations for my big man for creating shots off the dribble or creating shots on my own, let me know in the comments and I can drop a video on that. Next tip, I'm going to put some background gameplay of this rec game that was a pretty close game from that stream the other day. But for the next tip. Utilize outlet passes and let me tell you something All the people that told me use an 86 pass accuracy you get gold break start you get 86 pass It's so fast. You're not gonna throw the ball out of bounds. I throw the ball out of bounds like crazy Okay, there's plenty of times I've thrown the ball down off a defensive rebound and it's a wide open outlet and somehow some way the outlet pass just goes out of bounds and I get a turnover now I'm not going to sit here and tell you get 86 pass. This is exactly why I've been telling people since last year, do not get 86 pass. My newest build that I just uploaded has an 86 pass accuracy. You know, I gave in. I finally gave in. You know, I used to rock the 70 or the 75 pass. I was like, you know what? Let me see what the hype is for 86. Bro, it's not worth it. I promise y'all, 86 pass is not worth it. You're going to still throw the ball out a lot per game. You know what I'm saying? It could be wide open outlets and you're just not going to get it. I don't know why. Got gold break starter. I got silver touch passer. I could throw an outlet. I, I could take a few dribbles off the off the defensive rebound. Throw the outlet. It'll go out of bounds. I throw the I throw the outlet. As soon as I come down with the rebound, it might go out of bounds too. Why? I don't know. But utilize outlet passes is the tip. Tip number three. You feel me? As soon as you get a rebound, bro, you should be already ready to have your icons up because you can't do rblb or for playstation users you can't do r1 l1 so you need to have your icons ready you need to have them icons ready and i'm telling you because if you see like look at me right there i had an icon ready right there as soon as i picked it, that wasn't a, that wasn't a defensive rebound it was a steal or whatever but i knew that people were running the break and i was ready to throw the outlet to somebody down the court now this requires some quick reflexes all right and my first tips to be better as a center I had a, a tip on it about increasing, like, bettering your reflexes for steals and blocks and stuff. Reflexes is also really good for outlet passes because as soon as you come down the defensive rebound, like right there, like I just got that steal right there, or I got the block and then the rebound, icon pass, immediately threw it to the person down. As soon as I hit RB, 
to pull out my icons. I seen that X or whatever the icon was. I hit it immediately because I just got. I'm just quick with the. I'm just quick with icon passing. My icon passing is elite. If you might not be, if you're not good with it, stay tuned for this last tip I got for you for tip number five, and that's that might help you out a little bit. But make sure you really use icon passes on your outlets. You know what I'm saying? Another tip I got, not, not not another tip, but like a sub mini detail tip. So when you see me um, in this game, you see how my camera, it kind of like cuts. It doesn't really do the slow turn. It kind of like cuts to the other side, you feel me? That is a setting in your camera settings. It's called flip style. I think that's what it's called. I think it's called flip style. You want to change your flip style to cut. Because as a center, as soon as you get a defensive rebound, you want to be looking down the court immediately. You don't want to wait for the slow turn. You wait for the slow turn, it's going to be a little few second delay before you can see who's down the court. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, I can make another separate video about my camera settings. If you want to use my camera, you know what I'm saying? You want to be able to have the camera just change in the snap of a finger, you know what I'm saying? So you can see down the court instantly which helps with outlet passes. It helps with getting down the ball down the court. Look at me, give me the green light. Look at that green bean cut in the clutch too. But let me know if you want me to drop a video on my camera settings. I don't think I need to make a video on that, but just let me know. Before I get into tip number four, hit that like button for your boy if you learned something new or if I helped you out in any way. You know what I'm saying? If you're not subscribed already, hit that sub button, man. We're trying to get to 20K. And then of course, we're trying to get to 50K. And then the 100k, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to run it up. I'm trying to go crazy on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all your support. And tip number four, if you don't have layup timing on, turn it back on. Because I think it was on to start the game off this year. So if you turned it off like a little puh, P-U-S-S-Y, if you turned it off like a little puh, turn it back on. Now, trust me, you, you're going to want to. Oh, I mean do that. Turn it back on now. Because you get more better chances of making your layups if you put timing on and you have pro touch i have pro touch and i got timing on layup timing on and i will tell you right now a lot of layups that i probably shouldn't make i have a 71 close shot okay there's no way in hell i should be making the layups i make with a 70 close shot okay i make them because i have layup timing on and i got pro touch those two will help you significantly if you miss a lot of layups try those out for your for size you feel me um, just trust me. If it don't work, turn it back off. Fine. But I'm telling you, Mike Wayne, when the game came out, they already said what's up with layup timing and the layup meter. It's supposed to help you. It's supposed to give you a better chance of making your layup, especially if you have a low layup rating like, like I do because my close shot is very low. The last tip, pass openness. Now, I'm going to go into 2K to show you this setting because I want to make sure y'all know exactly what I'm talking about and what exactly I do. All right, so I'm on 2K. Now, tip, like I said, tip number five is pass openness. And now, when I say pass openness, it's not really so much as the literal. It's more so of a setting. So I'm going to go down to features. We're going to go to controller settings. We're going to go all the way down, all the way down. And let me move my camera out the way. So pass openness. All right. Well, let's start with pass target. So your pass target profile is going to say default. Okay, no, most people do not know about this, but your pass target profile will say default. It says at the bottom, use pass target profile to customize the way pass targeting works. Now, this goes towards when you are directional passing, not icon passing. So for the people who struggle with icon passing and you typically do directional passing most of the time, this is for you. Or this is for just in case you don't know somebody's icon, you want to just get the ball to somebody, whether it's on the outlet or if it's somebody wide open in the half court set and you want to get it to them as quick as possible. So they have pass target direction, pass target distance, and pass target openness. Now these all determine the weight. It says it determines the weight of pass direction for pass targeting for that one. The second one says it determines the weight of receiver distance for pass targeting. And the last one says it determines the weight of catch point openness for pass targeting. So if you have it on default, this setting, the openness setting, is only on six, okay? It's only on six. That's why a lot of times when you do directional passes, it might not throw it to the person you meant to throw it to who is probably wide open because you don't have the right settings, okay? So pass target profile, here's what I do. Just change it to the right one time, it's gonna go to openness. 
Now your new your new target duration rating is gonna be 55. The distance rating gonna be 20, and your openness rating gonna be 25. But me personally, I adjusted it. So I go to 25 at the bottom for past target openness, cause that's what I want to do. When I'm directional passing, most of the time I'm trying to throw it to the open person. You feel me? So I'm gonna bump that 25 up all the way to 32. Now it's gonna move the direction setting and the distance setting down in their respective ways like you just seen and your past target openness is going to be 32. why did i pick 32 i don't know but this works perfectly fine for me and i feel like if there's times where eventually it's not working as much as it was before it's not working that good then i'm probably going to come back to the settings and i'm going to increase the openness setting for past target you feel me this is very useful trust me if you do directional passes this is very very useful um that's pretty much it for this video Make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button, leave a comment if you learned something new, leave a comment if you just want a heart, because I heart all my comments, you know what I'm saying? If you just want a heart from your boy, Levar, you know what I'm saying, let me know. Make sure you follow the Twitch. Twitch name is the same name as my YouTube name, it's just Levar, you know what I'm saying? I stream all the time on there. I want to see more of y'all coming in, let me know if I helped you out in any way and all of that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? But make sure you, make sure you do all of that. i catch y'all in the next video, I appreciate you for watching, and I'm out, bro.